Is it one thing right now we're taking away from the COVID-19 pandemic is the importance of washing hands and wiping down surfaces. We wanted to know a good cleaning checklist, so we asked the pros at Premier Restoration. We're talking today about something very important to, if not everyone, uh, at least the folks that are going back to work, homes and businesses and getting them clean and Premier Restoration is doing just that. Anthony Nelson is the Chief Commercial Officer and he joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us on Living It Away. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You guys have been doing this for quite some time, uh, 20 years and have seen all types of damage. How is this latest COVID-19 pandemic different, say, from maybe some of the other things that you've had to do or clean? So what's unique about this is uh, there's a couple different things. The, the first is most of our customers, they go to work when we show up to work in their home. Um, most of the spaces that we're working in are occupied. Everybody's home. So that's one thing that changed. The other thing that changed is all the social safety protocols. We are an essential business. Um, we're used to working in personal protective equipment in a number of different environments, but for us, Putting on, a, putting on a face mask almost seems superficial because of the hazards we're used to protecting ourselves. And so just adopting all of our protocols to meet the standards of what we need to do in order to operate as an essential business. What exactly, and we've seen tons of videos of people doing it. Yeah. Is there a proper way to clean services that maybe uh, debunk some of the other stuff that we've seen on TV? Is there a proper way? So the, the key thing you need to understand is that cleaning and disinfecting are two independent steps. So cleaning is the physical action of removing soil from the surface of something, and disinfecting is the action of sanitizing or disinfecting that item. So if you don't pre-clean the surfaces that you're disinfecting, what you're actually disinfecting is the soil that's accumulated on top of that surface. And that's why that's important that there are two different steps. Okay, um, I've got another important question for you because at the onset of this pandemic, for whatever reason, people were going out and hoarding toilet paper, disinfectants, uh, and in some cases, you just don't see them on the store shelves. Uh, flour is another one, uh, but, but yeah. those two particular, toilet paper and disinfectant, is there a DIY solution to this? Because maybe not for toilet paper, but for disinfectant? <laughs> there is a DIY solution for both, but um, for disinfectant, what, it, what you can use is bleach. Bleach is a great disinfectant, and depending on how much you're trying to mix up, the recipe is either a third of a cup of bleach per gallon of water or four teaspoons per quart. So most trigger spray bottles like this are a quart in size, and so if you fill it up to a gallon with water, and then just top it off with four teaspoons of bleach, you have a ready-to-use disinfectant that you can spray on any surface. You go into a house, you know that it has been exposed to COVID-19. Are there any special protective measures that you have to take? When we're doing our COVID-19 cleanups right now, our technicians are wearing um, either full or half-face respirators with full Tyvek suits. We call them the marshmallow suits, but they have a hood on them, they have attached booties, neoprene gloves, and then usually we're doubling down on the gloves just so then that way you can change gloves as you're working without having to expose your skin to the surface. So you'll have an inside glove and an outside glove, and you can change the outside gloves without exposing your hands. Sounds like you guys got it covered, literally. Yeah, yeah, you have to. And you know, like it's like it's like I tell our guys all the time, whether it's this hazard, mold, sewage asbestos, lead, any of the other gnarly stuff that we touch, um, you never want to bring that stuff home with you. And so the using the personal protective equipment in the way that you're supposed to, always make sure that you're returning home safe to your family. I'm sure you guys are busy, but I want to ask, how can somebody get in touch with Premier Restoration and, and, and get either their home or business disinfected and clean? So you can visit us on our website. That address is www premhi.com, -E or you can call our office. That phone number is 808-694-3552. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you at the back end of this. Hopefully you're not too busy, but then, of course, you'd like to be busy with a company like this. 
I want to stay steady and I want to take care of everybody in our community, and I think we can do both. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks to Premier Restoration for uh, telling us about the DIY and also just giving some pro tips on what to do to disinfect as we do start to see more businesses opening up here. We have a